Chief Andy is Captain Crow. This kilometre-long field of spring rape is his desert island, with treasure chest riches to be discovered. But where? Heading off in the wrong direction could leave him all at sea. Choosing the right flight line could deliver pigeons beyond his wildest dreams, Jim Lad. It's job nowhere to shoot it. They're coming in everywhere. The other side, they're dropping 100 yards along, 50 to 100 yards along to their left-hand side. Just a couple of good flight lines here. I'm standing here and I'm looking, I think, oh, maybe I should have been there or I should have been up there. It just, it's just, today is just a case of shooting what I can shoot and, and uh, watch where they go and how they react here. It's going to stop them going to another crop here? They're in another crop. That's what's going to stop them today. Spring rape is all, always a good one. There's not a lot about then, and they like rape anyway. And they're staying on this now right the way through as long as they can, until they get a stubble. He knows it's not the spot, but getting to the spot under the pylon would have damaged more crop than we would be preserving. And we should never forget the reason we're here is crop protection. That's right, Long John, the black spot. There's the flowering hearts coming up. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, they're eating off. Same on this one here, look. One, two, three. You've got four on this one. They've eaten the hearts out. And that's what they do, even on that one. Does that uh, kill the plant? Well, just that's the flowering head. That's that's the stalk. If the flowering stalk isn't there, the pigeons have eaten, and the flowering stalk's not there, it's, it's not going to produce. So. Right, cut. Let's see if we can get some pigeons. Once a decision is made, we're off and running, and we hope that X marks the spot. You smell nice today, David. What perfume's that? Odor Childerly. Odor Childerly. Yeah. Splash it all over. Oh. <laughs> There's definitely something going on between you and Paul. You said that about me and Kai, and me and Roy. Yeah, well, <laughs> Roy's getting too old. You've gone for a younger <laughs> man. You've gone for a younger I think, man. I think Roy's younger than Paul. Yeah, he doesn't look it though, does he? I think Roy looks looks a young, baby-faced... Young, baby-faced pensioner, yeah. Pensioner? I said Paul could Oh, I thought you said pensioner. <laughs> Another thing we shouldn't forget is the importance of a dog to retrieve on a day like today. Rosa's nose is a must. We can't be losing birds. Good girl. Good girl. Here, 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 here. This one. Crow's start is flawless. He's changed his chokes for today and he is pleased with how they are working with his clear pigeons. I've got a couple of uh, chokes from Teak a little while ago. Uh, one was a 3 8 and a 5 8 which is quite a nice tight choke. And uh, I found them a bit too tight. So Ivan sent me down a couple of quarters and they seem to be suiting these cartridges well. What I found, anything that was close over the decoys, it was just turning them inside out. So, right. If there was no chokes in that gun, yeah, would you have hit those birds? No. Not at that much. You wouldn't. It'd be like it'd be like a pepper, just like a pepper pot. It'd just be everywhere. It'd be like a scatter gun. So it's like squeezing liquid out of a washing up liquid bottle with the lid on or with the lid off. Yeah, a bit like that. Yeah. That was an amazing analogy, don't you reckon? I, I think it's awesome. A bit like squeezing your son or your baby oil, <laughs> ba baby oil out of your container. So either like with the baby oil lid on or without. Either so it will just sort of yeah. just flow out or come yeah. out with a bit of a spurt. Yeah. There are plenty of birds in the air and they are looking, but there is no solid commitment. Then Andy fires up the whirly and things step up a gear. This could be a day for movement. I shot a couple of long ones when I picked them up, stuck them on the whirly. As soon as we come back in, there's pigeons. They start to come. They were doing well now. They were well, straight away. As soon as we got in the hide, there was one come straight in. The time I loaded the gun, it was too far out. And another one come, and another one come. They're starting to look now. So the whirly has helped, but this is changing from a red letter day to a recce day with benefits. Because the field is so Good huge, girl. Shooting it today will not move the pigeons off it, delivering another day's sport. As we had such a good reaction to the whirly, Andy stages strictly come pigeon shooting. There are
are spins, lifts, rotations and bounces. We're shaking all of our tail feathers in front of the hide. We've got quite a performance actually going on in front of us, haven't we? Yeah, it's, it's caught you out a couple of times. Sent me up a, one of these auto bouncers. It's just right when there's a bit of crop because you can push the button, it's, it's out of sight in the crop and it comes up out of the crop, flaps and then flaps its all, way all the way back down into the crop. And it looks quite, quite lifelike as it goes. I've never seen birds actually change direction like that though. No, they really have today. It's, sometimes you, you do it and they sort of change and you think, did that change and, or didn't it? But today it's just been so obvious. They've been on a line going and as soon as you push that, it goes up and they half look and then you push it again and it comes up and they look and they think, right, and they, they just set in on it then. Again, the change in fortunes is dramatic. Andy has spoken about Nick Tate's creations turning pigeons on the wing, but it really does. It's like someone's wolf whistling at them. They can't not have a bashful glance over their shoulders. At six-ish, Crow is thinking about packing up. There's stuff to be done back at the yard and the birds need picking. You can't do this without a dog, can you? No, you can't. No, you certainly can't. I deserve more than that. Justin's just turned up, he's going to have a few shots. I've got some droppers behind in the hedge and in the wood behind us, so I'm going to pick those up and uh, he can have a few shots. And then once we've done that, um, I'm coming back again at the weekend and I hope to have another good day. Well, a better day than we've had. We've had a good day today. We, I don't know what we've got. Must have 70 plus out there. So we leave Captain Crow to it. He didn't strike gold, but there is another chance at the weekend and this time he's got cannon and he's got a map.